Hello, Zoltan here from Adagio Hands, releasing stuck bodies. Have you ever felt soreness, even pain, a day or two after intense exercise? This video talks about DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, and the kinds of things you can do before exercise. And by the way, there's another video on what you can do after exercise. This is about what you can do before exercise to help reduce the intensity and the chance of DOMS. And just to cut to the chase, if you don't want to watch to the end, this video talks about training well in advance, doing some light training a couple of days before, and then wearing extra warm gear immediately before exercise and hydration. So there you go. That's the key points. So let's take these in turn and start with what DOMS actually is. And I'm surprised about the lack of research into uh, the full understanding of what DOMS is. But the broad model is that intense exercises causes muscle tears, micro tears in the muscle. That leads to inflammation, potentially compounded by the waste products that uh, accumulate over the course of that intensive exercise that aren't then immediately flushed out. And the inflammation then impacts on the pain receptors in the fascia, so in the connective tissue around the muscles. And that's what leads to that feeling of pain. And by the way, leads to also a loss of strength for a few days after intense exercise. It's a model and perhaps it's a helpful model to work with, even if we wait for the researchers to understand the phenomenon more fully. So what we can we do to alleviate DOMS? Well, the first thing that we can do is train well in advance of our intense exercise and build up slowly. In other words, don't suddenly go for a marathon. Don't suddenly try to lift the heaviest weight you possibly can. So it's called the repeated bout effect, that the more you exercise, the less you'll experience that post-exercise soreness. So progressively grading the intensity of your exercise and working up to ever higher intensity. The second is some light exercise two days before the intense exercise. Now you need to uh, think a little about what your time scales and what your schedule is for exercising. But the idea is this, if you do some light exercise two days before, and by light, I mean maybe 10% of load. If you're down the gym, that may be three reps of 10 at 10% of your full uh, capability. Or it might be, if you're running, a light jog two days before your intensive activity. Then just by doing that light exercise two days before, you can reduce the intensity of DOMS by 65% and you can reduce the loss in muscle strength after exercise by 28%, and you can increase your recovery time by many days. So that's some statistics from recent research. Of course, people differ, and what I suggest is you give that a try and also see how it works with your schedule. You may not be able to give yourself two day window of light exercise before your intensive exercise, but that's the idea. The third is on the day before your exercise, wear extra warm gear, stay in your tracksuit bottoms right until you go for the run or keep your top on, have an extra top on as well, stay warm. The studies actually looked at heat pads wrapped around uh, the arms and looked at how that might help. And they seem to help significantly in reducing the DOMS afterwards. So stay warm as much as you can. And then perhaps it goes without saying, as ever, stay hydrated, drink water and electrolytes to make sure that you've got plenty of fluids that are ensuring efficient exchange of waste products and nutrients over the course of exercise. So those are the four things. Train well and work up to the intensity, light exercise two days before and extra warm gear on the day of your exercise right until you start and then hydration electrolytes. By the way, some people might ask, well, would it be a good idea to have a massage? Well, specifically 
on DOMS. There's no evidence that it would particularly help you to have a massage before, different story afterwards, but before uh, exercise. There are other reasons why you might want to have a massage before exercise, and we'll talk about that in another video. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for listening. Look forward to seeing you in one of those other videos. Bye for now.